Hi, this is Lady C. Welcome to Creative Studio. I appreciate always having you in my audience. In the upcoming tutorial, I'm going to be talking about filtering incoming emails to your Gmail account. Many times we receive a lot of email from people from all over the place. And these emails, we don't necessarily want them to stop being sent to our inbox, but we want to kind of get organized. So what I like to do is I like to have certain emails going to the same folder. Let's say you do shopping from various vendors, but you want all of those emails going into a folder called shopping, or maybe you have stock or financial emails that come in, but you want all of those to go into their own separate folder. So you can do this any way you want. You choose how you want to organize your inbox. And so in the upcoming tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create what's called labels because in Gmail, they're called labels, but like in other email applications like Yahoo, they're called folders, but they pretty much work the same way. Basically, you identify the email address and how you want Gmail to handle the incoming email from that email address. Okay, now I'm going to tell you a little bit about these incoming emails and how to filter. So let's hop over to the computer and let's get started. Okay, so notice how my inbox contains emails from various companies. To better organize my email, I want to create a filter that automatically moves certain emails to its own folder. So I'm going to show you how to do this using the emails from Metastock News. So I'm going to open up the email. Next, I'm going to click the More button located at the top of the screen, which is the icon represented by the three dots. And then I'm going to choose Filter Messages Like These. Notice how the email address associated with this email populates in the from field. So Gmail will filter all emails from this address. Next, I'm going to choose create filter. Notice all of the available choices, but we're only going to be dealing with applying a new label and being able to move these emails from the email address associated with the email I chose to the new folder. So what we're going to do is come down and choose the drop down next to apply the label, choose label. Next, I'm going to choose new label. When the window opens, I'm going to type in meta stock and then choose create to continue. Now I need to do two more things because in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move all incoming emails to this new folder that I created. And I no longer want to see it in my inbox. So I need to check the first checkbox skip the inbox and I also want to apply this filter to existing emails in my inbox so I'm going to choose the last option apply filter to matching conversations and then finally I'm going to choose create filter let me take you over to the left sidebar because when you come over to the left sidebar, you're going to see a list of labels or folders. And you're going to see meta stock over here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose meta stock. Now, meta stock is showing 47 unread messages right in front of it. You see that? And it's also showing up in the top right hand corner that there's a total of 55 emails. So that's how you do this. And now if I go to the inbox, notice how Metastock 
is no longer appearing in the inbox. Next, I'm going to show you how to create another type of filter where the emails continue to go into the inbox, but it actually will have a label next to it specifying the type of email that it is. I'm going to use Wall Street Watchdog. So what I'm going to do is open up the email Wall Street Watchdog. I'm going to go to the More button, click on that, and choose Filter Messages Like These. Notice how the email address populates in the From field. I'm now going to go down to the bottom, choose Create Filter. This time, I'm going to choose Apply the Label, and I'm going to choose New Label. And I'm going to type URGENT in all caps and choose CREATE. I'm also going to choose APPLY FILTER TO MATCHING CONVERSATIONS. But the only thing I'm not going to do in this instance is skip the inbox. So I'm going to go ahead on and create this filter. So now when you go to the inbox, you're going to notice that all of those Wall Street emails are tagged urgent. Now you may feel like the urgent label is not really glaring out at you and you may want to change the color of the label. So all you have to do is go over to the left sidebar, find the label named urgent, click on the three dots to the right, go to the label color, point to it, and then let's choose a color red. And now you're going to notice that all of the items that are coming into the inbox labeled Wall Street are labeled urgent and the label is red. So it really stands out. So not only do you have the labels showing up as urgent in the inbox with these specific emails that you've tagged. But if you go over to the left sidebar, you're going to notice there's an urgent label. And if you click on the urgent label, all of the emails that you've tagged urgent are showing up in that label. And notice how there's a label called inbox right in front of that. So it's like a cross tagging. You go to urgent, you see the emails that you've marked as urgent, they're showing up labeled inbox. And if you go back to your inbox, you will see a cross reference to a tag called urgent, showing that these are also located in the urgent folder. So this makes for a really nice system of being organized and knowing exactly where your files are located. If these tips were helpful to you, be sure to hit that like button and I'll see you on the next video.